switch on her camera and uh, i think everyone is ready to uh, for the first session brace yourself for the first session everyone who all are ready to embrace the future of technical writing the cross functional field that technical writing has become for keeping the thread of communication between the engineers and the customers and how ai and machine learning is becoming the integral part of the field of technical writing ruby goel we have today with us who has more than 5 years of experience as a technical writer and a content marketer has assisted company in developing solid content she will provide us useful insights into the impact of ai and machine learning on technical writing she will also talk about the potential benefits and challenges of ai over to you ruby thank you uh, for this great introduction uh, let let me share my screen Um, is this screen visible? Yes, it is the movie. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Ruby, and uh, I have been in the field of uh, content uh, and technical writing for a while now. And uh, today, I'll be discussing a topic that is quite, uh, you know. in a bus ki day like the future of technical writing with ai and machine learning so i'm currently working uh, as an assistant manager marketing uh, at aspire info labs where i look after uh, all the content that goes on to their documents website social media and everything so let's begin uh, with uh, like what we are going to uh, today what i'm going to present uh, so first would be intro to ai tools and terminologies then second would be how we can create uh, prompts outlines and proposal writing uh, with help of ai tools uh, third would be how we can write blogs ebooks and other type of content uh, with help of ai and uh, the fourth will be ai for and writing organization how ai tools are influencing the writing organizations with uh, now a days when ai tools are available in which you don't have to do anything and you can directly make a video without even showing your face or anything or even writing a single line on your own so i'll be discussing uh, in brief about that as well and the fifth would be uh, different uh, types of tools are available in the market today for creating different forms of content so uh, that would uh, be i'll be covering today in my presentation so uh, let's begin with intro to ai tools and terminologies so uh, everyone uh, knows so if we start with what is ai ai is short form for uh, artificial intelligence which refers to the idea of computers that can learn and make decisions in a human like way so uh, today ai is a common term uh, you know which is used by everyone you know to you know explain different types of tools which we are using day to day in our day to day lives so uh, basically it is uh, you know when we train computers you know to make decisions in a more human like way so that we can get uh, you know results that are you know that we can use uh, so here are different terms that are related to ai machine learning it refers to uh, you know teaching of computers to recognize patterns through data and algorithms then there is uh, then there are other terms as well neural network deep learning parameters pattern recognition predictive analytics which combines data mining and machine learning 
then there is another uh, term gpt and conversational ai which uh, i think which everyone nowadays knows uh, that is short form for uh, generative uh, pre trained transformers so it's basically conversational ai as the name suggests uh, you know we can converse with the ai tools and get the desired output so uh, you know here we can you know train the ai to you know uh, you know get all the human existing knowledge and learn new things and generate output based on that now a days a uh, new term also uh, you know is making quite a buzz uh, that is diffusion model so diffusion model is a method for creating images for text prompts so uh, basically gone are the days when we used to you know sit on canva and you know different uh, you know photoshopping tools and you know creating a background and then using our imagination to you know cre uh, create a picture but nowadays you can just describe uh you know in a few words what you want in a picture and the ai tool can do the rest of the work so in uh, in my further slides i'm going to show that uh, tools as well where you can just with text prompts uh, create images so uh here uh, is a brief introduction about ai and what kind of uh terminologies are we using so if we come over to uh, the next part of our presentation that is a uh, prompt creation introduction outlining for proposal writing so uh, basically uh, you can use ai tools to create different kinds of uh, you know prompts is basically what will be typed into that tool ai tool uh, you know to get the desired output so if uh, whatever uh, you know we are typing in whatever input uh, we are providing to the tool to get the desired output is basically prompt so the quality of the prompt whatever we are typing in whatever we are in whatever information we are providing to that particular ai tool is very crucial to get the desired output uh, we can also uh, create uh, you know different outlines uh, regarding uh, you know document articles uh, you know uh, with the help of ai tools we can also to proposal writing uh write books and other things with ai tools so today uh, i am going to be covering mainly the three pointers prompt creation outline and proposal writing uh with you all so so uh, many people realize you know you can ask chat gpt questions but most people don't then ask you know follow up questions on you know getting better results so you know for example if you are uh, finding new ideas for writing a grant or you are a technical writer which write grants for you know software companies so what kind of prompts you can use to get a better result so here i have generated an example for you to guys so for example if i have put uh, put you know what are the best ways to find new ideas for you know writing a grant would show me some generic ideas you know stay informed about your team network with teams you know conduct a review you know brainstorm with the team uh look for uh, funding opportunities and many other things. but if i want to you know find some unusual ways you know for generating ideas then i can ask that as well so what are some additional uncommon or advanced ways to find more new ideas for writing a grant so it will give me some 
unique ideas so not the generic ones but now i'll be able to generate some unique ideas for example it, it, it says collaborate with non academic partners do data analysis attend conferences you know conduct studies and so on now for example if you know i like one point and i want it to elaborate on that particular point so it's not that if i uh, you know if i'm getting an input that's it uh sorry if i'm getting an output that's it i can ask it to further elaborate so basically it depends you know whenever you are getting an output aap usko further kaise you know ko aur prompt karte hain usko kaise question karte hain so that is very crucial when you are using chat gpt or any other ai tool so for example i say for way 3 what are the benefits consequences and results of using that technique so now it would come up with this like attending interdisciplinary conference or even outside of your primary field of study so now it will give me results related to this so that's how further probing for consequences results so that's how further probing can improve the overall output it can help us uh, you know write better and get the desired results now i can also ask this as a person also like for example i am just saying you are a technical writer who specializes in grant writing for software companies what are the best ways to find so now we have uh, you know in the first two three questions we were just asking questions like what are unique ways what are general ways now i am saying to the chat gpt or to the ai too that you uh, you know you are a technical writer specializing in ai writing for software companies so what are the best ways you know to find so now the fourth output and perspective would change for the inputs so that's how different prompt uh, you know inputs can give you different answers now here the the answers are completely different keep up with industry news consult with software developers review the literature conduct the operate so so here you can see for a simple simple question that is new ideas for writing a grant i have generated multiple outputs multiple outputs and that too by just twisting a a question so that is how you can use an ai tool for you know different purposes by giving it different prompts you know jitna uh, jitna practice karoge prompts ke upar utna better you know you will get results here is an another example of prompt uh, creation now uh, we all think that you know we can uh, you know use this tool for this is purpose but you can also use it for fixing your script for uh, you know fixing your uh, content for example here if you consider you are a transcript fixer and ai who skill uh, in compiling messy interview transcripts to improve its structure without losing the customer's voice so now we can ask you know we can give it prompts sim you know simply like that remove any significant text from the transcript like for example um okay fix any obvious typos you know the original transcript uh, may be incorrect you know correct english break part large chunks of text into smaller paragraphs analyze the text in sight you know construct a summary or so basically if i have uh, you know pasted a transcript i can you know use these kinds of prompts to make that transcript you know very uh, crisp uh correct uh you know without any errors or you know removing unnecessary oh so uh, these are different uh you know ways we can use prompts to get you know desired output uh from here now if we come over to the next part uh that is a uh, proposal writing uh you know 
you can use uh, you know ai tools for proposal writing as well so for example if you know i am writing write a grant proposal that supports a local project to build housing for poor families now uh, the result could be title housing for better future building affordable homes for low income families and then it would give me a project summary but now it is a quite generic information again why because i haven't given it anything i have just right Uh, written a generic form, write a grant proposal that supports a local project to build housing for poor. Now, if I, you know, probe it further, I say expand upon this grant proposal with a detailed list of costs, key performance indicators, and potential stakeholders. Now, the response would be entirely different. The generic content would be there, but now it will give me the estimated project cost. It would give me the key KPIs. it would give me what potential the list of potential stakeholders so again so this could be again a very very good starting point for any proposals we are writing again it depends on if you can get generic as well uh, you know content as well and you can get detailed content as well but you have to check for the data it is you know giving you so i'm not sure if this data is correct or not i have to check and verify so uh proposal writing is another you know form in which we can use ai tools the third would be <clears throat> creating outlining so uh, outlining uh, for any uh, document or any article you can use ai tools to make out now i would like to show you uh, apart from chat gpt uh, i have also talked about in my earlier presentation that we had an online conference i have talked about one tool uh, write sonic uh, so this is also an ai tool you know which helps you you know do different tasks or uh, let me uh, just give you a tool of this tool so this is a paid tool uh, so i have a lifetime membership of this tool so i can i'll also show you one website where you can get a uh, lifetime membership of different ai tools uh, that you can use so uh, if you can see this is an ai tool where you can have can write an article for you just based on the title uh, here confusion writer you can paste any uh, you know paragraph or document and it will give you a summing up or you know confusion for that particular document you can write different social media copies with it you can create landing pages with it you can convert any feature to benefit with it like in ad so different different tools now it has also introduced chat sonic which is a chat gpt like tool you can even make your own ai and what you know tell uh, train write sonic to write exactly what you want you can write articles you can write paragraphs you can do multiple things with this you can so for e-commerce i would say the ai is changing the game uh, so you can write product descriptions you can write anything with this particular tool uh if i go to example go to this go to this i'll just cite artificial generate ideas so it will give me a list of uh you know pointers so the rise of ai in copywriting how it's changing the game the feature creation the trans so then 
then I can go to uh, outline. I just have to write the title, article, intro, and it will give me the entire package. Give me uh, three <laughs> options for everything. Now here it has given me three introductions for this particular topic. I can choose any one. If I choose this one. I choose this one. You know, I can just say generate outlines. So it will generate different outlines for me. And you can use it in multiple languages as well. Available in multiple languages. So uh, today AI tools uh, don't have any limitation. So this is just one tool. Uh, Chat GPT is just one tool. And uh, you know Google is coming with its own tool now. But so you can use it to create Anything with just you know quick prompts. Then let's move on to the third part that is blogs, ebooks, and other write an ebook using Chat GPT and other alternatives. You can write an whole ebook using Chat GPT and other tools as well. So in, uh, in today's presentation, I'm going to be covering uh, this one new tool because we are aware of chat GPT. So I'm not going to cover it again and again. I'm trying to cover new tools that I have come across and find found interesting. So we, there is this tool, Studio Write, which can help you write an ebook. Not uh, not only in, uh, any non-fiction book that you want to write. It could be on any topic. It could be storybook for kids, it could be a book on technical writing, it could be anything. So let me just uh, you know show you the dashboard of this tool. Okay, so this is basically pseudo write. You can so it's again uh, paid tool, but you can uh, you know try out its free version. So I ha I'm trying out its free version. So for example, uh, I have given it a prompt. I'm a technical writer who, who enjoy helping other people make a career in this field. Now I've written this particular thing. Now I want to make it further descriptive, you know, describe it. Uh, now it can describe a particular line in different senses. For example, in sight. I'm a technical writer who enjoys this. I'm in the early phase of my career in this field. I work in a large white building with multiple floors. A technical writer sits at a computer, gazing intently at the screen. He writes in a swanky class called office. So, you know, I think many of you have read, almost all of you have, must have read novels and how descriptive they are, you know, of the person, of the surroundings and everything. So now if I'm trying to make it descriptive, I can use this as a technical writer. I sit in computer, gazing intently at the screen. We write in a smacky glass wall. So this is something. Then I can use smell senses, then taste, and sound. I heard the click of my keyboard as I type the words. I'm a technical writer who enjoys helping others. I'm in the early field. So on the basis of sound, technical writer's voice is heavily and deep. It sounds like he's been yelling all day. I'm quiet. I don't know. So based on that, it would give you multiple, multiple copies. Then uh, you can use metaphors. You can use. So that's it. You can even use this tool brainstorm. For example, brainstorm, dialogue, characters, board building, plot points, names, faces, objects, descriptions, article ideas, themes, whatever. If I go to article ideas, then I'd say 
cloud computing. Start thinking. So it will again give me a list of bunch of ideas. So this is an amazing tool if anyone who wants to write an ebook. So it can definitely help them for a person like me who is not a very you know creative writer. I'm not a bit, uh, you know creative writer, but can help me you know write an ebook in a very creative manner. So this is an amazing tool to do that. Then uh, let's come over to the fourth part of my presentation. That is uh, AI for uh, you know writing organization. Now we know that we can use AI tools to create you know, information architecture, to create a content style guide, to edit documents. Now, uh, you know, if we are, uh, I don't know how many of you have worked on content style guide, uh, you know, for course, but whenever we have a new uh, writer on board or when we want to establish a certain standard, you know, for uh, content writing in our company, we always uh, create a content style guide. It could be for, uh, you know, website content. It could be for, uh, you know, images. It could be for any form of content that we publish. So with uh, the help of AI tools, we can do that very easily. We can edit documents. We can create our information architectures as well. For example, I'll just give you an example. My company name is Aspire Info Lab, so I'll write create confirm. I'll guide Aspire Info Lab. So here it would give me a complete style guide. based on that, and I could use it. Now I can further talk uh, it to give something, uh, uh, to give something to my graphic designer. I can just write. guidelines for the company so it will expand on that so this is a very very quick way uh, to get started with your style guide with AI tools. You can use edit, you can edit documents. You just have to copy paste that particular text and you can, you know, edit it based on your, uh, you know, style guide. You can also paste that document. You can uh, paste your style guide and then ask it to edit it that way. So it will automatically edit that document to that. Uh, now, uh, uh, the next part of my uh, you know, presentation is AI to write, direct, and publish a video. Now, uh, I think many of us 
have uh, struggled in past to create a video on our own. We have always relied on our graphic designers or you know, professionals to create a video. Or even if we do, uh, you know, know how to create a video, it could take in you know, it could you know take a lot of. But not now. Uh, but now it's possible to create videos in a few seconds. So let me show you some cool tools, uh, you know, with, with which you can create videos in just a few clicks. Uh, there are some uh, tools, for example, Redis.ai and Steve.ai, with which you can create amazing videos in a few clicks. Let me show you a quick demo of these tools as well. Ruby, uh, just a time check. Uh, we have another five minutes and then we'll uh, start with the Q&A. Okay, okay. Sure, but just give me, uh, it will hardly take five, ten minutes. Thanks. Yeah. So, for example, I can go to content library. So, here are a few videos that I've created using this. And if I go to create more, Create new. Now, uh, as you can see uh, with my dashboard, I can pick up any uh, post idea, business, e forward, like manual. So, for example, if I pick business, I just have to describe my business, what I want to sell, what who is my customer, uh, what benefits that they can get. I can even create videos within this. For example, right? Top AI tools. That's it. I select video. I can choose the length and wait for it. It would give me a very initial level of video in a few seconds. So here are some videos that I can show you. Creating just from the idea. So these types of uh, videos go well with the, uh, you know, with your uh, Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, uh, any other social media platform you want to uh, As we have time constraint, uh, I'll just show you the another website quickly. I won't go in, you know, a lot of detail, but I can show you how you can. Uh, but it, with this uh, platform, Steve.ai, you can convert, you can take any URL of a blog or, you know, web copy you have on the internet. You can just paste that URL and it will generate a video based on that. So it's that easy to, you know, love any piece of content on the internet and you want to create a video on that, you just have to paste the URL and hopefully do that. Uh, now let's uh, come over to the last part that is AI tools for uh, content creation. So I have covered a lot of tools uh, already. 
for example, uh, apart from chat GPT, that is uh, pseudo rise, right sonic, uh, dot AI, Perez dot AI, so these are uh, some amazing tools. Apart from these, there are many other tools uh, that are available in the market, pay or fee, that you can use, uh, you know, to perform your day-to-day -day tasks easily. Uh, here is the list of tools. I, if you want, I can share with you guys also. Uh, so there are some tools. Rewind.ai, where you can make anything searchable. Shield.ai. Run away or another uh, content creation tool, Whisper. It's a hearing aid which can help you, which uses AI to learn and adjust to different hearing situations. We have uh, Farm Voice Labs, uh, AMP Robotex, <coughs> Chat GPT, Rem.ai, again, U.com. It's again a conversational tool, Jasper.ai. Uh, Pictori that AI, so it's again another tool which generates these videos based on your text input. Synthesia and all these tools. So uh, now it is a huge. There is a you know a lot of tools that are available in the market and you can use it. So that's it from my side. Uh, let me know if you have. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you so much, Ruby. That was really insightful. And uh, I think we do have few questions, though. Uh, you can, any if anyone has any question, you can post your question on uh, chat and uh, we'll take up your question. First question, Ruby, is from Sonal. So her question is, if we use AI to create content for our organization, will that not put the sensitive information at risk, wouldn't our organization info be added to the AI data repository? Um, yes, security risks are there. I'm not going to deny it. And I'm uh, so security risks are there. So it's very important whenever you are using any AI tool, you make sure that you are not putting any uh, information that was very uh, sensitive to your uh, that you know to your organization so don't put, put out that kind of information but uh, mainly uh, information that you are going document that you are going to publish in your knowledge base or on your website or you know social media or blogs that are going to become public you know in a, you know when you are going to write and publish it so that kind of information i don't think uh, is an issue but you know if you are putting out sensitive information, you know, information that is not, you know, allowed to be shared with others, then that can be an issue. But, uh, but while majority of AI tools don't save information for a long period of time, when you delete your account or when, when you close your account, uh, that gets automatically deleted. But it's very important to, you know, read their uh, privacy policy in terms and conditions before if you are sharing that kind of information with any AI team. Uh, Sonal, I hope that uh, answers your question. Do we have any another question? We have a question from AK. He says, uh, don't you think these AI tools can take up your job as this is a topic of discussion? So uh, AK, uh, we have this uh, like uh, presentation on this topic as well. Uh, in our like uh, uh, coming upcoming presentations. So, but uh, Ruby, do you have anything to say on this? Yes, uh, I would definitely. Uh, so, I would say that AI take up, uh, you know, would take up our jobs. I think our jobs are quite significant in that way. But it's very important that you are aware that you know this kind of technology is out there and you know how to leverage it. So you can leverage it for your uh, creating your personal brand. It's not about it. You know, it's not only that you are creating using it to you know improve uh, your company's 
uh, information or your, your company data, but you can use it to build your personal brand. You know, how often we feel, you know, constrained to create our, uh, you know, because we don't have time to put out videos or content out there. You can use AI to see you that. So create your brand awareness, learn new skills, and make sure you are irreplaceable in your organization. So because these kinds of things will come, and with this, I, I think uh, with Google coming in with their toolbar, so it will change a lot of things. And it may take up entry-level jobs, but if you are skilled in what you do, so I don't think it's going to take you in any way, but it uh, it can help you build your personal brand. That's what that's uh, what I feel. Uh, thank you so much, Ruby. Uh, another question we have that is indeed a very important question, I suppose. How do we handle plagiarism while using AI tools? Okay, uh, so uh, with AI tools, you can go out, uh, you can uh, just show you, you just go to plagiarism checker, any online plagiarism checker, you can pay, uh, copy paste your uh, content and it will show you. Uh, you know, you just have to copy paste your content and it will show you whether the content is plagiarized or not. So it's very important uh, that you just, you know, don't use the uh, content, whatever it has given as it is on your website or on your document because it can be plagiarized. So make sure that you test it here. Uh, you just whatever, like, for example, I get for this content. I'll just copy paste it here. And I'll check it. So make sure uh, that you check it before using it because I don't think uh, plagiar uh, plagiarized content is something that any organization would ever do. So you can use like. OK. Another question we have is. Uh, yeah, you want to say something? No, no, no. Can we move on to the next question? Next question we have is, so the entire content get generated, no need of content journey, content strategy, and user story mapping? It's very important. It's very important. Everything. So that's where humans come now. So AI tools is there to help you or provide you a you know, basic outline or uh, you know, help you in your day-to-day -day task, but it can't uh, take away your years of experience. So if you know how uh, you know your organization better. You know what kind of content you want to put out there. You know, like, what is your company's goals, uh, what they want uh, to get out of a particular uh, strategy, uh, you know, or introducing a new feature. So you know all this. The AI tool doesn't know any of this. So you uh, have to. So that's where you know our role come in. We have to do everything, but these tools can provide you a starting point. Uh, you know, can help you understand something. For example, I shared. Uh, you know, we can create a style guide with an AI tool, but that doesn't mean that I'll just uh, copy paste that you know and send it out to my manager. No, I'll have to use my brain. You know, use my uh, you know my experience understand my company, uh, you know, my manager's requirements, my company's requirements. Based on that, I can make several changes to it. But, you know, starting from scratch and or, and starting from, uh, you know, a teammate layout, you know, makes a lot of difference. Okay. Yeah. Next we have is, there are many ways to identify AI generated contents nowadays. Is there a way to write better prompts so that we can bypass these check to a certain extent? So as I shown you initially also, it doesn't mean, you know, if you have written, uh, okay, write an article on chat GPT, you know, and it will write an article. Now, if anyone, you know, especially me who has used it a lot of time, and you know, I've been using AI tools for a long period of time. So I can, you know, see that and understood because what chat GPT would do in every line, in every point, if, if it's a pro, it will say, 
competitive advantage, then it will start with chat GPT. For another point, it would say, make your work faster. Chat GPT makes it. So for every, with every point, uh, with every point or, you know, it will provide you, it will say chat GPT, chat GPT, chat GPT, chat GPT, in every line. In, 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 a, uh, in single line, you also it can use chat GPT. Too. So if, if I see that type of content out there, I can easily recognize this type of content has been written using AI tools. But when you, uh, because any human, if I'm writing an article, I won't do that. I won't repeat a single word or, you know, chat GPT twice or thrice in two, three lines. So that I won't do. So you have to understand that, that, you know, basic, uh, you know, you have to understand as a reader, what you are writing makes sense. If it's, it, it is, it is uh, you know, getting repetitive or not. And from, for example, I sh showed you, you know, if you are saying, if you are typing, you know, give me ideas to write grant summary or, you know, grant software. So that would give you a list. But if I'm saying, you know, give me some abnormal or unique ideas or something like that. So you have to go, go, go further to get what you want. So there is a lot of generic content out there. But make sure you add your touch to it. Make sure you take that content as an initial framework and then make it readable, make it understandable, make it more aligned uh, to that of your movements. Thank you, Ruby. Do, do we have any further questions? Uh, we have one question though. It is like, uh, do you have any idea to start a side business to earn extra income during weekends using an AI tools? <laughs> it, it could be, it could be an enterprise. So you go to YouTube and you'll find if you if you know like yeah. channels. Your voice is not audible. Hello. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying if you do YouTube, you will find a variety of content on this. Uh, you can start a lot of side muscles uh, using the AI tools, and then people are earning, I don't know, more than our salary just sitting at home and doing getting instant campaigns. So that um, is the uh, Ruby, your voice is not clear. Crack. Yeah. Hello. Yes, your it's voice is cracking. I think uh, for now, uh, we'll take more questions uh, in the chat box or on our uh, global telegram group because uh, we are like uh, short in time. Is that okay, Ruby? Sure, sure, sure. No problem. Thank you so much, Ruby. Thank you so much for this amazing presentation and 